deliver me from hell. Jimmy Fi or Homo and also Bonsem Jim. Save my soul. Jimmy Cra. Transform my life. Sama Brabo or Hene. Open my eyes. We are many. Stir my faith. Na Kenya mi GD. Give me understanding. Mamenti I say. Let your wonders. Na mana mau. Happen in my life. And they do my brabo. Remove every skill from my eyes. Remove every skill from my eyes. Every blindness over my mind. Remove it. Let me see clearly what you are showing me. What you are telling me from your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This man is a man of Praise, thanksgiving, and worship. Amen. Amen. So, when you go to Joel, the bishop is talking about thanksgiving, praises, and worship. And we are supposed to stop everything we are preaching and preach about praises to God, thanksgiving to God, and worship to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In some in Psalm 136 verse 1 he said oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endure forever verse 2 oh give thanks unto the God of God for his mercy endure forever verse 3 oh give thanks unto the Lord of Lords for his mercies endure forever verse 26 oh give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endure forever so why are we supposed to give him thanks because it is commanded by the word of God. Amen. Mm. Our leadership training at 4 p.m. is affecting some people. Yes. So, so we, we will bring it back to 3 p.m. today. We bring it up to 3 p.m. for them. But if you look at this passage or these verses, it's describing the same person with different names. Verse 1 says that, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endure forever. So the first verse is talking about the Lord. We should give him thanks. The second verse says that, Give thanks unto the God. God of God. Give thanks unto the God of God. That means all other gods are under him. So we should give him thanks. Verse 3 says that give thanks unto the Lord of Lords. Praise the Lord. For his mercy endure forever. Then verse 26. It says, Give thanks unto the God of heaven. The God of heaven. For his mercy endure forever. So we are commanded to give him thanks. We have no option. We have no choice. It is compulsory for us to give him thanks. Because he has been merciful unto us. He has been merciful unto us. If it were to be because of his mercy. Amen. When you were taking the Uguguro. And you were taking the Golda. And the Obrimpon. Secretly. You just did like this. Ah, you went to take it. You came back. Praise the Lord. Mm. But because of his mercy, he hasn't struck you. Praise God. Mm. I know some women who don't joke with Guinness at all. Mm. I know. But because of his mercy, we are not consumed. Hey. So we have to give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Guinness people are smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so we 
But because of his mercies, because of his mercies, we have to give him thanks. Because if he says he is striking, hey. Hmm. If you say he is striking, none of us who survive. Uh, say, Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Say, Lord, I praise you for your mercy. Say, Lord, I honor you for your mercy. Praise the Lord. The mercy is not supposed to keep you in your thing, but the mercy is supposed to make you uncomfortable in your thing so that you will come out. Say, I am coming out. Say, I am coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Psalm 92 verse 1. He says it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto his name. So it is good. To give him thanks. The word of God says it's a good thing. So when we are talking about thanking God and praising him. It's a good thing. We must thank him. We must always be grateful to God for what he has done for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for this church. Because this church, you come to church. This church, you come to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apart from one or two, three people who they know me and I know them. And they don't like coming to church. But I pray today. Any power that have been confusing your mind that tells you don't go to church don't go to church don't go to church from today you are free from that power I said from today you are free from that power in the name of Jesus your testimony is changing today in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah amen he said it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the, the, into the name of the Most High. So thanksgiving goes with praises. Anybody who is thankful to God, he will praise God. He will bless God. He will celebrate God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not thankful, you will never bless him. You will never praise him. It is the gratefulness, that appreciation, that acknowledgement that he has been good to you, that he has done something for you, that overflows. It overflows into praising him, into celebrating him, into thanking him. When you are not grateful, you will never open your mouth to bless him and to celebrate him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So anybody who is truly thankful unto God, you will see him praising the Lord. So to thank God means to express gratitude to him. It must be expressed. You must express your thankfulness to God. I always thank God for this church. When I meet some pastors, they say, they say, they say you, your church, how, how, how do you manage for your people to come to church? They said, my people, they are not coming home. I, I said, God, I thank you for my people. They come to church. Wednesday, they come. Friday, they come. Sunday, they come. One week fasting, they come. I praise the Lord. I am proud. I thank God for the people he has given to me. I thank God for the people he has given to me. So I I always thank God for your life. I always appreciate God for your life. You are good people. Praise the Lord. You are good people. When God give you something, thank God for what he has given you. 
Thank God give you something. Thank God for what he has given you. So when he gives you children, thank him for the children. Your children may be, may be stubborn. They, they may be stubborn. But they will not be stubborn forever. As you are thanking God for the children, God will be working on them. You cry, you have some. You cry, you be. You cry, you have some. There's somebody who doesn't have children. He has done everything. He's not getting some. The one God has given you, thank him for it. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating to somebody? When I completed SS, my, my father didn't have money to take me to school. Even the SS cry remains small. I didn't write the final exam. He didn't have money to pay for me to write final exam. My father he didn't have the money. No, it can't. was a narrow escape. Hey. That my senior brother paid for me to write. Nah, ni ni abema, uh, ni ni abema pen, ni ni abema ni. To pay yeah, for me to write it. When I finished writing it, I got admission to the vast and polytechnic. There was no money. So I, st I stayed in the house. But I didn't complain. I said, Once I am in the house, I'll look for some job and do. And I'll use my life to serve God. So I was not murmuring. No, I was not grumbling. No, me, me. I was hey. serving God with no, my life. Now, oh, 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 me, oh, as a way of thanking me. him. Now, oh, the dance. Oh, serving God. No, me. And I was working. No, here, Juma. In the teaching field. Uh, no, chirade. No, I was teaching. No, chirade. Praise God. Mm. And then I was also doing extra classes for people. Na, uh, oh, oh, and I was busy in the prayer group. Na, oh, then I was be, I became a youth prayer leader. Youth prayer leader in the church. I was doing it as if God has given me everything. I was loving the Lord. No complaint. After doing it for four years, he was sitting down in the church. Then I heard the voice of God. It was during teaching service. When the bishop was teaching, during teaching service, even nah, if the bishop was teaching, while bishop was teaching the word, I heard the voice of God. When the word of God is coming, the voice of God is behind the word. God speaks to people. Some people are hard. They, will, they always throw it away. Throw it away. So anytime the man of God is preaching the word, the voice of God behind the word comes to speak to people. And he speaks to every individual differently. Demons also come to speak. They also come to speak against the word that is coming. So that you are not blessed. Amen. They will tell you that you are the one he's preaching against you. They will say he's preaching against you. That is the demon's voice speaking. So because of you, he's saying that thing. he's preaching against you. That's the voice of demons. They are whispering to you. But the voice of God will say, This message is a prophecy unto you. So do this. So Bishop was preaching. Then I heard the voice of God. I heard the voice. He said, Stop the teaching. And go and be prayer warrior for the bishop. When you hear the voice of God, eh, it brings delight for obedience. It brings delight for obedience. I was, I was by then 21 years. And I heard his voice. So I resigned from the work. And the owner of the school said, Do you want to destroy my work? You have been dressing with tie and decent to bring to the school. And you have brought some glory to the school. You want to you want to destroy my work. I didn't mind him because I have 
and heard the voice of God. It was not anybody who was advising me to do it. I heard the voice. And I was ready to suffer because of that voice. Because the work of God goes with suffering. Anybody, anybody who doesn't want to suffer should not try to do the work of God. Every great man of God you see today is not a stranger to suffering. They know suffering. I'm not talking about the fake ones who yeah, are collecting you, people's money. So. No, no, I'm not talking about the fake ones who collect who, are, who charge. Oh. Uh, yeah, Men yeah. of God, we don't charge. We don't charge money. Men of God, we don't charge. Because our call is a divine call. Amen. Mm. Once you start charging. You have reduced the thing from divine calling. You have reduced yourself to medical doctor. I know her name. I know her name. So medical doctor, you have to pay consultation uh, everything so before. Uh, that is it. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, that is why it is the work of God. We uh, don't charge. Mm-hmm. Because once you start charging, the poor people cannot benefit. The poor people cannot benefit. See, many people don't go to hospital because they don't have money. They are afraid of the charge at the hospital. They are afraid of the charge. Not because he doesn't want to go to hospital. They are afraid of the charge. Maybe the charge at the hospital cry is not macho. But because of charge, he will not go to hospital. And the sickness will be killing him slowly. But God is interested in the poor. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So the work of God goes with suffering. So don't let anybody push you into it. Go in yourself. Because you have from God. As so I that say, when the suffering comes, you have the confidence to suffer. You will not run out of it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I knew, sir, leaving that job, I will suffer. Praise God. And I went for it. Hmm. That is why if anybody tells you that if you want to get money quick, go and become a pastor. And, you know, tell him that he should go and start one. And, you know, tell him that. So if, it is, 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 so if anybody oh, tells you that, yes, if you want to get money then quick, go and become a pastor. Then tell him. Then go and start. If you go and start, eh, so we'll start yeah. and you have money, now we'll start. the money will even finish. Yes, but you put the money in the work and the work will not even be growing because the work is the God work it is God that will make the work to grow not money it is God that will make the work to grow you put all your money in be recently a certain pastor was telling me about a church condition they have everything but the church is empty instrument and everything is there whoa 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 then what can Bribia? Somebody say suffering. So, say suffering. Obre. Yes. Obre. If mm. you don't want to suffer, don't say you are going to do the work of God. You have to suffer. It's an examination you have to write. If the pastors will tell you all the pastors, you see, if they will tell you what they have gone to, if they will be honest, even those who are charging 1,000 CDs, 500, even they cry, they know some of the suffering. It's because of the suffering, that's why they are charging. It's because of the suffering, that's why they are charging. They, are but they don't have patience to finish the suffering. They don't have the patience. You have, you have to finish the suffering. You have to finish it. It will take you years of suffering. When you go through years of suffering, <laughs> then when God sees your faithfulness, <laughs> then gradually, 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 say suffering. 
That's all, bre. Yes, I have to tell mm. you the truth. No, 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 So I heard his voice. And I went. But why am I saying this? When you don't have something. You still have something. There is something you have. That you can thank God for. I said there is something you have. That you can thank God for. You are higher than somebody. You are better than somebody. You are greater than somebody. Begin to appreciate God for what He has done for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you start thanking God and praising Him, it means it, it, it means that you are giving God recognition. You are giving God credit. Look, the lady whose testimony was read. She was she called me on Wednesday. And I was praying. And when, I, when I'm praying, I don't pay calls. It doesn't matter who is called. I don't pay calls. Mm -hmm. Because I need to gather from God to come and give to the people. So it is a very important business for me. So when I'm praying, I don't pay calls. Even when my wife comes there to call me, she has to speak within one second. And go. She, she, she didn't talk too much. And why she's even coming to the prayer crowd? She's afraid. Because she knows that once I'm praying and preparing, nobody's supposed to come there. And so she called me Wednesday. When I saw it, I knew that this call. There is testimony in the uh, call. No, because that lady, it. she will never call me. I know. She will never call me. I even told her that I've lost your number. So, what's up me so that I can have your number? She didn't do it. So, I know she will never call me. So, when I saw the number, a mother told her that pastor is busy or you can't get him or you can't get him but that day I picked the call and she was even crying on the phone when she was telling me the testimony when you are grateful to God it ties you to God it ties you to God people who are not tied to God it's a mark of ungrateful Unto God. Un ungratefulness unto mm. God. When you are grateful to God, it makes you have a uh, feel that you are duty bound to serve Him. Gratefulness to God makes you committed to Him. When you are not committed to God, it is a clear sign of God is not important in my life. Look at all the sufferings I'm going through. You are going through sufferings, but you have survived. You are going through sufferings, but you have prevailed. You are going through suffering, but you are healthy. Look at the gari and sokis you are eating, but you are still strong. You are eating gari and sokis, but you are still strong. There is no enough meat and fish in your food, but you are not sick. The rich people are always on admission. A lot of them, they are always falling sick. You have a lot that you can thank God for. And so when you are grateful to God, it, 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 it forces you and it edges you to attach yourself to God. To attach yourself to God. It is ungratefulness. It is ungratefulness to God that makes people detach themselves from God. When you are not grateful to God, it divorces you from God. It divorces you from God. You will begin to fall behind. Because you are not grateful, you begin to fall behind. You don't see any reason why you have to serve him, why you have to follow him. It's ungratefulness. If you are really grateful to him, rainfall cannot stop you from coming to church. Rainfall. If you are really grateful to him, rainfall. If you are really grateful to God, you take your umbrella and go to church. Gratefulness. When you saw. Church goers are not grateful to their God. 
That's why rainfall, rainfall. They will not go to church. But from today, you have to begin to show gratefulness to God. I've been saying. That if the bridge to your house is not spoiled yes, and if there is no flood in your house so you have no reason to sit in the house because rain has fallen when the rain falls take your umbrella and go to your church when you don't go to church it's an insult to God you are telling God that God when I go to church there is nothing I'm going to get from you there is nothing I'm going to get from you why should I sacrifice and pass through the rain in the name of going to worship Sorry. Say I am repenting. Say I am repenting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So a grateful person is always hooked up to God. He's always hooked up to God. A grateful person. If you are not thanking God, then God says you are criticizing him. You are criticizing him. If you are not grateful to God, if you are not thanking God, if you are not blessing God, then God is telling you that you are criticizing. If you are not thanking God, then you are finding fault with God. So in many ways, we accuse God. We dress him down. In many ways, we have been blasting him by our actions. We have been blasting him. In many ways, we have been insulting him and disgracing him. When we are grateful to God, it will show. It will get you to become married to him. Say, I'll thank the Lord. Oh, say it. Say, I'll thank the Lord. One of the easiest way to humiliate God and to reproach God is to refuse to thank him. If you don't thank God, God doesn't like your company. He doesn't like your company. You are a border to him. Be your company is a, is a displeasure unto God. It's a displeasure. He's in a hurry to leave your company. But when you are full of thanksgiving, oh God, I thank you for my child. Oh God, I thank you for my parents. Oh God, I thank you that you brought me back safely. Oh God, I thank you that even though things were tough, you have taken me through. I didn't know that I could overcome this situation. But Lord, you have helped me. I don't know how it happened. But God, I thank you for it. Every time you are celebrating God, if you don't bless God and if you are not grateful to God you will be grounded you will be not sink you will be grounded you will remain on the ground if you are not grateful to God you will be grounded you will remain on the ground but when you are grateful to him your life will always be moving forward the same storm that will swallow up people, you will overcome that storm with that sweat. You overcome that storm with that sweat because of gratefulness unto God. That is one of the secrets God has taught me. I don't criticize, I don't accuse. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating at all?